Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have the correction that we've been pretty much waiting all week to uh, to share with y'all. And uh, <laughs> this correction has to do with the crime that happened on West 30th Street a couple weeks back. And we're just going to do a little sound effect, of course. Yeah, we hear this quite a lot around campus and off campus. And uh, we're going to read off the crime. Conrad's Corner made a couple mistakes here. Okay, and uh, you're going to see why. This was in the roundup that was reported on Conrad's Corner last week, and we posted a, a clip regarding this, and we called it the attempted robbery and rape on Greek Row. That is inaccurate. Uh, it is somewhat true, but is inaccurate. Now, here's the roundup. This is basically the crime that happened. And then we're going to get into the incident resolution and what Conrad's Corner made a mistake on. At 3.30 p.m. September 14th, so bear with me, this is a while back, a suspect entered a student's apartment. So this is a student. We got that right. A Gamma Epsilon Omega, okay? That's what the Daily Trojan says. It's true. It was a Gamma Epsilon Omega, but it was at the old house, not the new house, okay? The fraternity actually moved. So the old house is on the 1100 block of West 30th Street. So keep in mind, there is absolutely no connection whatsoever to this crime in Gamma Epsilon Omega, except for the fact that it was at their old house. Therefore, there is absolutely no connection to Greek Row. So this crime did not happen on Greek Row. It was near Greek Row. It did not happen on Greek Row. So a suspect basically entered the apartment via an unsecured front door, brandished a box cutter and placed it against the student's neck while she was sitting at her kitchen table. The suspect then demanded money, and when the student stated she didn't have any, he forcibly walked her into a bedroom, okay? Then the suspect attempted to bind the student's wrist with two electrical cords. This is according to the Daily Trojan, okay? The Daily Trojan Roundup, which comes from the DPS records. The student, however, was able to break free, and she began screaming for help, okay? In response, the suspect then fled on foot and disappeared from sight. DPS officers responded, conducted a search, but were unable to locate the suspect at the time of the crime. Last Tuesday... They, on, on Wednesday, about six days ago, they reported that they caught the individual responsible for this, or at least they arrested a suspect connected to the crime via forensic evidence, and it was a positive identification. Okay, so keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that this did not happen on Greek Row. It was at the old Gamma Epsilon Omega house, and the DPS did send out a crime alert. Conrad's Corner reported that there was no crime alert. There was a crime alert. That's correct. There was a crime alert in addition to an incident resolution. Uh, the key here is that we meant to say that there was no Trojan text alert, okay? But there was a crime alert. DPS did let students know regarding that uh, last Wednesday, at least, when they said that they caught the guy. Another thing that Conrad's Corner made an air with is that we called it an attempted robbery and rape. Could it have been a rape? Perhaps. Was it? No. Rape is too strong of a word. We decide here on Conrad's Corner is an extrapolation of the situation, and it is an assault, uh, that could have escalated to a rape, but we really don't know what might have happened, and that's causing unnecessary fear and panic, and we don't really know if rape was on the suspect's mind. You can argue it was probable if you watch too many scary movies with the electrical cords and all that stuff. It's probable. It is a student. It's probable, okay? It's definitely not with, you know, don't put it past anybody, but we aren't certain about it. So let's try to shield it with the attempted, and that really wasn't the case. A rape was the wrong word there. We apologize for that. And uh, also... Those are the errors. So there was a DPS crime alert, no connection to Greek Row, and, ladies and gentlemen, it is an attempted robbery and assault, not a rape. So there you have it. And so why are we coming up with all this stuff? I mean, bringing stuff out of the blue like this. I mean, this happened two weeks ago. They found the guy at Conrad's. I mean, come on, Conrad. What's the difference, right? But we'll tell you what the difference is. It is a matter of principle. Conrad's Corner will get your story right 98% of the time, and that's not good enough. Accuracy is our number one priority. We may be entertaining. We may have a lot to guess. We may have a lot of fun. I mean, we're going to have, uh, talking about entertaining, we're going to have a, a writer from The Young and the Restless, one of the highest rated daytime dramas ever from CBS. She did a pre record interview in the CBS studios. We're going to play that in a second after we take a short little break. So it is very entertaining. It is a lot of fun here on Conrad's Corner, but we have to get our facts right, and we need your help. This 
errors were these errors were actually alerted to us. They, they were brought to our attention by a previous guest on Conrad's Corner. She was just on Facebook. She let us know about it. A little speculative at first, because sometimes students, when they see, you know, friends are in a certain organization, they want to protect them at all costs. But we did our research. DPS came out with the information. And within about two or three hours of the clip being posted on YouTube and Twitter, they were taken down. It was taken down. We tried to post a correction. We took that down because we decided that that was, we, we didn't have enough information to get the story right. So this will be posted up. This will be tagged so you can find it if you search the uh, uh, attempted robbery and assault. Uh, and we're, we're going to get that out there. And, and this is about being reliable. It's a reliable news source. And like I said, accuracy is number first, number one. And, and we definitely want you to understand that uh, we definitely need your help. And it is a team effort. It's about restoring your confidence and trust in USC's only news radio talk show. And uh, we hope that we succeeded with that little skit. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. When we come on back, it's going to be Elizabeth Jordan and be the marrow da- bone marrow foundation talk a little bit about that and we're going to play that young and the restless interview with the writer learn not just about the be the match how to save a life but also a little bit about what it's like to write for a major soap opera series <laughs> 